guys, how's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 27, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, NASA program named after Serpent Deity plans to fire several rockets at the upcoming solar eclipse. Is this the reason why multiple states declaring state of emergency? Hold on, let's see what's going on here, guys. If you can, please share this video. So NASA has announced it will fire three scientific sounding rockets into the moon's shadow on Monday, April the 8th, during a partial solar eclipse across North America. They're going to fire not one, not two, but three rockets into the moon's shadow. The question is why? This is, uh, this is strange. All right, so there's going to be some multiple events. All right, they're saying that uh, uh, FAA is sounding the alarm, that there's a possibility there might be some flight delays. Or cancellation number two cell phones for millions out there will be impacted service will be down number three they're telling residents out there in multiple states to prep and have food that could last for three days so there's been a lot of stuff number four there's gonna be a a, a devil comet that's gonna pass by uh, at the same time the solar eclipse is going to uh, um, happen. So you got so many signs in the heavens. All right. So uh, we're going to see what's going on here. Once again, uh, NASA is going to fire three rockets towards the moon's shadow on Monday, April the 8th during a partial solar eclipse. And what? Oh, by the way, guys, deity, I think that's the, uh, the serpent god or something like that all right so we are seeing that uh these signs here have symbolic names devil names serpents you guys already know the serpent the devil he is the god of this world but he's not the true mighty god all right so again you have the serpent and then you have the devil comment all right, there's going to be like, again, a swing by uh, meteorite or comet that is going to pass by Earth. All right, they call that the Devil Comet and they call this the Serpent Deity. So we are seeing the signs in the heavens. So pay attention here. Pay very close attention. Uh, please share this video. Uh, it says here, and what will be a total solar eclipse for a 115 miles wide path through parts of Mexico, 15 U.S. states, and Canada, and a partial solar eclipse for the entire Americas, the event will see a sudden drop in sunlight. The Space Agency Project Atmospheric uh, Perturbations Around the Eclipse Path will investigate how that drop in sunlight and temperatures affects Earth's upper atmosphere. Now, Apep is named after the serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology, nemesis of the sun deity RA, according to NASA. So we're going to do all that research about deity, all right? But at the same time, let me just bring this up really quick. All right. So you have this one right here. All right, this is also going to happen at the same time. All right, look at this. On April 8th, total solar eclipse, Devil Comet will be visible during eclipse. So you have Symbolic's name here. The Serpent Deity and the Devil Comet. All right, so very important. All this is going to happen on April the 8th. This is why they declaring state of emergency. I do believe there's going to be some stuff that is going to uh, kind of uh, wake up a lot of people. All right, so it says here, 
you have NASA's suborbital, suborbital rockets won't launch into totality. Instead, they will go from Wallops flight facilities in Wallops Island, Virginia, from where 81% of the sun will be blocked by the moon. That moment will appear at 1533 Eastern Time, though the eclipse will take part between 1406 and 1633. However, this won't be the first simultaneous measurements taken from directions, excuse me, different location in a very small, I truly apologize guys, give me a second here. I'm trying to remove these advertisements at the same time reading the article. So different location in a very special layer of Earth atmosphere during a solar eclipse. On Saturday, October 14 at 10 a.m., 10.35 a.m. and 11.10 a.m. Uh, MT time, the same three rockets were launched into the moon's shadow during another partial solar eclipse. They launched from White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico, where a 90% partial solar eclipse took place. Now, reach altitudes of 216 miles, 219 miles, and 218 miles. All three scientific payloads were successfully recovered to be reflown from Wallops Flight Facility for the second part of the APEP experiment. Just as from New Mexico, the rocket will launch before, during, and after the peak of the eclipse. But the question is why? I mean, what's the point of doing all this? What's the point of doing all this? Each rocket will eject four secondary instruments the size of two liter soda bottle that also measure the same data points. So it's similar to results from 15 rockets while only launching three. All right, so once again, this coming out from this person, a professor of engineering physics, and we're gonna skip all that. <clears throat> The question is why? Give me a second here. I want to pull up something really quick. Serpent deity. Serpent Nagas are credited with the power to cause rain bringing forth growth and abundance because they shed their skins they are also considered symbols of regeneration of regeneration of regeneration in indian art serpent deities are often represented as humans with snake hoods Okay. Can this be a sign of the rise of the Antichrist? Because right after this solar eclipse, the red heifer is next. The third temple. They're going to do that red heifer on Passover, Friday, in the Mount of Olives. That's where Jesus sat, and the disciple asked him, tell us what would be the sign of your return and the end of ages. And Jesus told them, uh, look out for you are not deceived, for many will come in my name. So Jesus is specifically breaking down what to expect in these end times. He will return, but before all that, there will be great wars. There will be great earthquakes. There will be deceivers and wolves. There will be famines, pestilence in various places. Jesus said there will be many out there that's going to claim to be me, but do not follow them. They're going to say, look, he's here. Do not believe him. Because when Jesus comes, all eyes will see him. Even the dead 
those who died at sea, those that died in land and various places around the world, they will wake up and they will see the Son of God appearing in the clouds with great power and glory. We all going to see him. So um, <clears throat> all these symbolic names, Serpent, Deity, the Devil's Comet, and the Red Heifer that's going to be sacrificed on Passover. Guys, I, I believe all these are very important signs of the heavens. And remember, back in the days, these people used to worship uh, when it comes to these type of signs in the heavens. Like the, uh, again, black, uh, the blood moon and all that. People used to worship these things back then. Um, what in the world? Hold on. In the Red Dragon mythology, it is a dragon that devours the sun causing an eclipse. So that the idea of a serpent in the sky was likely carry over from verdict astrology but the serpent never lost his head there are many more magical beings uh, that may be said to eat the sun and moon in various cultures you know scripture tells us in the book of revelation that the dragon will uh will appear and there will be uh, i gotta read that verse again when it comes to the sun the moon the stars and there will be a virgin so again, you guys already know that's the uh, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But this one here, uh, I do believe this is uh, possibly a sign of the son of perdition, the Antichrist. All right, so give me a second here. Here we go. This is the one I was looking for. I don't know what what that red dragon stuff popped up. Uh, the Space Agency Project, atmospheric. Uh, skip all that name eclipse path will investigate how that drop in sunlight and temperatures affects earth upper atmosphere apep is named after the serpent deity from the ancient egyptian uh, mythology nemesis of the sun deity let's see what's going on here with the uh, forbes Is this, again, is this the reason why they are declaring state of emergency and telling many to be prepared? Is there something that's about to uh, happen on April the 8th? Well, yeah, they're going to be firing rockets. Guys, I'm looking outside my window. I'm seeing all these helicopters. I live, like, in the middle of the, like, open land. Uh, we live off the grid. Uh, we don't live in a city, and uh, we have a big, big land. Um, and I'm seeing all these helicopters just passing by. NASA announced. It has announced it will fire three. Okay, we already know that. Skip it, skip, skip, skip. We're going to skip a lot of this stuff here. So this is like the same thing I just read to you. Yeah, this is like the same, same thing I just read to you, the first article. Yep, it's the same one. Nothing different here. Hold on, hold on. So yeah, we already know this. So the point of APEP is to look for perturbations changes in the Earth atmosphere during the eclipse with four small scientific instruments measuring changes in electric and magnetic fields, density, and temperature. The rocket will enter the iron sphere where the air become electric. It's here that ions and electrons wax and wane in temperature and density at sunrise and sunset. It's expected 
that the rapid eclipse of the sun will see waves ripple through the iron sphere. It's an electrified uh, region that reflects and refracts radio signals and also impacts satellite communications as the signal pass through. Now understanding the uh, ionosphere and developing models to help us predict disturbances is crucial to making sure our increasingly communication dependent world operates smoothly. All right, I'm gonna share this link in my uh, Twitter page if you guys wanna check it out. Uh, I think I'm gonna also share it on my uh, description box. So what do you guys think? Leave comments down below. It's like uh, as we get closer and closer, we're getting all these uh, type of news about uh, more stuff. And you guys already know there's going to be the Devil Comet. Wow. And we just had a Blood Moon March 25th. You know what happened to Blood Moon? Oh, well, the Baltimore. You guys already know that. And then you had uh, P. Diddy. <laughs> Man. It's been a lot of stuff going on. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, Georgia? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, girl. All right. So I'm gonna keep you updated on this story here, guys. And I, okay. I just rescued this dog. For those of you that don't know, uh, she's still a puppy, and uh, very, very nice full of energy she's a very nice uh, pit mixed with uh, I think a boxer if I'm not mistaken but uh, yeah she's a uh, she's very nice friendly and she loves the new family and when I got her she was not in good shape she was really skinny and um, yeah so I rescued her and uh, she's with us I do have the other dogs uh, the pit bull Tyson and my husky Luke, uh, they're doing good. They're in the backyard, and I have a big land, so they're happy out there. They just run around and happy. Uh, I'm not putting her out there yet. She's still a puppy, and uh, yep. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video. Uh, if you can, please share it, and I will keep it updated when it comes to all these signs in the heavens. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I'll post the videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but to Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.